So I just did my third Facebook Live, day three, and it wasn't as bad because it was a little bit shorter, but I wanted to share with you mission three. So mission three on this 500,000 challenge for raising private money, day three is about making the connection. And that, um, this is what it says, I'm gonna read it to you word for word. Your personal credibility and level of experience play a big part of finding a win-win for both you and a potential investor. Um, knowing what makes them happy can lead to more opportunities for you. So pretty much it's all about them. It's making sure that you know what they want so that you can deliver that and make a happy them. Because when there's a happy them, then they go tell others or they choose to invest with you again and that makes a happy you. So they gave me some questions that I'm going to read off to you. So maybe this can, this can help you on your journey when you're going out and you are chatting with potential investors and you're like, great, I don't even know what to say or what to ask. What if they ask me this and I don't know the answer? These are all good questions. So let's start with this. You get on the phone or Zoom or whatever, list of questions. Catch me up on what you're doing since we last spoke. Well, obviously, if you've never spoken to them, then you can just say, catch me up on what you've been doing lately. Uh, okay, what is your short and long-term plan? You want to understand your their goals so that you can make sure that you can meet expectations. Because like I always tell my kids, okay, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Here are expectations. Here's reality, and this is disappointment. So you wanna make sure your expectation and your reality are at the same level, then you don't have any freaking disappointment. Okay, hopefully you got that one. Okay, where is your money now? You wanna know, do they have like a stash of money under their mattress? Is it in their IRA? Do they have a solo 401k? Do they have some other, I don't know, life insurance where they can, their investment grade life insurance policies out there that you can um, borrow against the asset there and you don't know you don't know until you ask and a lot of people don't even know what's available so they're like oh my gosh I didn't even think of that oh I had this 401k from my old job and it's just been sitting there yeah it's time it's time to move that into gear okay what kind of returns are you looking for? Again, you wanna meet them where they are and you wanna deliver success, which means you gotta know what they're expecting. How much money are you working with? You wanna know, are they $50,000? Are they 500 grand? Like that's gonna be a big difference between like maybe your first position lender who needs to have the you know critical mass of for acquisition versus your, um, secondary position lender where that's maybe for the rehab costs. Okay, if you were to invest as a private lender, what are you comfortable investing? Kind of like this, the question that I just asked, right? How much money are you working with? Pretty much you're asking how much money do you have and what are you willing to like release? Do you have an emergency fund set aside for you um, in your bank account? So. We wanna make sure that they're not giving us everything that they got and then two weeks later, they're like, oh, by the way, I had an emergency and I need all my, I need my money back. And you're like, dude, no, this is a long-term scenario. Like we wanna make sure that they are not using their or investing their rent money, right, with us. Another one is building up the principle, the main focus of what you are looking to do. So we wanna know, are they interested in a certain return or they're looking for overall percentage like what do they want what do you want to make on your money is it all about the interest is it just a safe place do they need to have uh, you know a ton of uh, appreciation like what what's their goal last one if we did do business together what does your timeline look like again you want to make sure you're matching your investor with the particular project that's appropriate. 
but it's a long-term project, three to five years. You can't have someone that needs their money back in 24 months. It's just not a good fit. So that is what I have for you. Hopefully you can glean a little bit of whatever you need to take from that. And hopefully you can start compiling your own questions for when you have the chat with your prospective investor so that you're ready to really explore and figure out what they want, where they are, and how you can perhaps deliver that success to them. So I'll leave you with that as I walk up to my kids' school here. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.